What's up, everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. As you've seen in the title, we're getting back into it. Old school racing games. Let's go. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my old school favorite racing games. It was on the PlayStation 1 called Jet Moto. Jet Moto is just an iconic game for the PlayStation 1. This game is so much fun. It's basically similar to like... Uh, Wipeout and Splashdown, I guess, if you were to compare it to. It's uh, it's like jet skis, but they're hover bikes. It's a hover bike racing game. So if you know me, you know hover bikes are like my ultimate dream. Like if we could fast forward in time to when there was hover bikes and then when there was hover bike leagues of racing, like, dude, let's be honest, that's when I was supposed to be born. And you know what? I'm just pissed that I wasn't born then. But anyways, it's a hover bike racer game. And it takes place in the swamplands. There's snow levels. And then there's this epic level called Nightmare. And this level is a nightmare. It's rated, check this out, you're gonna like this. It's rated double black diamond. So if you're a skier and you've been skiing before, you know they rate the courses based on difficulty. You know, green circle is easiest blue square is intermediate then you get black diamond which is you know difficult slash expert and then you get double black diamond which is like super expert and even on some courses they even go to triple black diamond so the courses difficulty are actually rated the same way you know a ski trail is rated which i thought that was pretty cool i i you know i'm a skier i used to ski back in the day a lot and i thought that was really cool and the more i play jet mode the more i realize you kind of do play it like you're skiing like when you're skiing you really do this you know like there's a french fry technique where you, you make sure both of your blades are forward and you go left right and you go swoosh swoosh if you've seen you know professional skiers go downhill they're you know chopping chopping lettuce chopping okay <laughs> and it's kind of similar to how jet moto plays you do a lot of swishing, especially in the swamps where there's tree stumps and trees. Man, I can't tell you how many times I wiped out in this game. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty embarrassing, to be honest. But nonetheless, the game is super fun. It's got a very unique way of doing things. Something I really liked about the game was, you know, I was a fat kid back in the day, okay? You know what my two favorite things were? Mountain Dew was my favorite soda, and Butterfinger was my favorite candy. So me and my buddy Dave, shout out Dave, we used to go down to Shell and get snacks before we played video games. And I literally used to get a Mountain Dew and a Butterfinger, like a fat slob. But you know what? We were kids. It was fun. So totally worth it. Anyways, my two favorite fat slob snacks are the sponsors in this game. So there's a whole series of bikes that's just the Mountain Dew series, and then there's just the Butterfinger series. So as a fat kid, I was like, super pumped, okay? It was really fun to see my favorite fat kid candy and soda in the game. So naturally, I played as Mountain Dew and Butterfinger all the time, but I will say, when I played as Butterfinger, those, those crafts are a lot, a lot more sluggish. You know, I've noticed the Mountain Dew ones handle better. There's a, there's a couple others, too. There's the K2 and Axiom, which are cool. The, the Axiom is blue and the K2 is yellow, which is cool. That reminds me of back in the day, motocross. I used to be really into motocross. I used to race, you know, a very, very, you know, non-professional local level. But, uh, you know, yellow was Suzuki, green was Kawasaki, blue was Yamaha, and red was Honda. And it was kind of cool that in this game, they kind of took that color combination that motocross used to use and they they kind of made their own classes based on color which i thought was pretty cool and the crafts look super cool and just like hover bikes in general man how cool how, how much cooler can it be racing a hover bike so overall the handling and everything it, the, the game plays like it just plays awesome it's, it's a great great game um, very unique something another thing I really liked about it was when you're going around turns you actually have this like Kind of like it almost looks like the the power cylinders in the, the 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 home base for the power rangers It's like this glowing thing and you hit circle when you go around it and actually it's like bzzz, And it's kind of like this like electro kind of 
electromagnetic pulse that like connects to you and then you tur do a hard turn it just connects you so you don't flay a lot of control and you still you go bzzz, and it just like it helps you around you still you can't just press it and it does it you have to still turn right if you turn too much it'll throw you backwards if you don't turn enough it'll go sideways into a wall or off beyond the wall because the barriers go up a little bit past where you can see but you can be thrown right off that map and as you see it happens quite a bit when I play <laughs> but that was you know that was really cool about the game the the fact that they added that in and another thing I liked about this game was the maps a lot of the maps were kind of like sidewinder style is like what I would like to put it where you went down the map and then you whipped around one of those barriers I was just talking about and you went back so there was multiple times in the game where you're racing and you whip around and then all these guys are coming flying at you you know and you're flying at them and you have to dodge them so it's cool it's like you know it's like a down and back type of vibe for a few of the maps and you know that made it you know like a lot more difficult but it was really cool because it was like all right they're behind you they're gaining on you go coming right at you you have to swerve it made the it brought the intensity level up and if you know me you know High intensity for a video game is super important to me. I really want it to be as intense as possible, especially, you know, for a, for a racing game. So, yeah, overall, I thought Jet Moto was the perfect selection for Episode 2. This game is just so much fun. You know, I used to come home and play it with friends after school, like, back in the day, man. This is why I did this. This is one of those games I played, along with Rush, you know, Episode 1. I play these games and I'm like, it really reminds me why I wanted to do this video series. It's because recently I thought about racing games or someone brought them up or something and I was like, Ugh, racing games, I'm just not into them. And then I was like, wait a second, I used to be into racing games. What the hell happened? And I was like, oh yeah, most of them suck now and they're all the same. Or they don't suck and they're just like regular, like Gran Turismo and Forza and those are both great games don't get me wrong but they're just nothing new and that's that's i like new i like innovative i like creative i like show me something never done before these guys 1996 this game out this game came out in ha on halloween 1996 okay and it was a game about racing hover bikes do you think they would make that now no they won't because it's it's too much of a risk and these people are too much in it for profits which i get it you know that's how companies function and anything with a decent budget is going to be like that but you know what they got to make more unique racing games and that was the whole purpose of me making this series is that you know it's not like how it used to be and I, I want to bring attention to all these old school racing games do they have the graphics of today of course not but the physics the fun the creativity of these games the unique play style is just unmatched it's just there's so much fun. And, I, you know, I play a racing game nowadays. I play a couple rounds. I'm like, all right, I'm sick of it. But these games, Rush and Jet Moto, I'm playing this. And I just, like, even after I'm done capturing footage, I'm like, I want to play another one. I want to play another one. Like, that doesn't happen with a lot of the newer racing games. So, yeah, I had to do Jet Moto for Episode 2. Um, if you played it, leave it in the comments. I want to know what you thought. A lot of old school PS1 players will definitely know what this game is and i'm sure they've played it and loved it as well one more thing i'd like to add interesting fact about jet moto you guys are gonna like this one so there's there's a crossover and the crossover is with one of my favorite games of all time and i actually did a video on it any guesses twisted metal 2 that's right so some of the songs in Jet Moto are also in Twisted Metal 2. Ah, it's pretty cool. And in Twisted Metal 2, if you do a code, you can actually play one of the Jet Moto race maps in Twisted Metal. How freaking cool is that? I like I like have a nerdgasm every time I think about that. I'm like, Twisted Metal 2, Jet Moto, my favorite! Rah! But the, both games are so awesome, and they're not even related in any other way, like, the, besides that. So unless you've played both of them, you have no idea they're related. And I think that's really cool when they do, like, that kind of stuff. And the noise when you fall off the map, the same noise as when you get killed in Twisted Metal 2. Let's see if I can get that noise up. Let's throw the noise up real quick. It's this one. 
the epic car crash scream tragic epic intense noise that was really cool but yeah episode two i had to do jet moto this is one of my favorite old school racing games of all time if you played it leave it in the comments i want to hear some stories also what old school racing games did you play i'm dying to know i want to check them out this is my thing if you have any that you think i would like please leave it in the comments i promise i'll do a video on it so yeah if you have any old school racing games that you think i would like you know throw them in the comments maybe they're coming up you never know but leave them in the comments i want to know okay i want some good racing games from back in the day unique play style fun good replay value let's go and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching Old School Racing Games. Another episode, episode two, Jet Moto. That's right. Rock on. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks again, guys.